And women's college basketball is growing in popularity. This year's Big Ten Championship game that aired right here on Creme 2 was actually the most watched women's basketball game on CBS in almost 25 years. Millions of people are finally tuning in to see what it, all, all the hype is about. Creme 2's Channing Curtis went to the kennel to sit down with Zag standout Yvonne E. Jim and head coach Lisa Fortier to talk about the growing popularity of women's college basketball. I feel like we've seen like a definite shift in kind of like the attention um, that we get just from women's uh, like college sports and women's college basketball. I feel like more people are talking about it, noticing it. What has it been like for you getting to play here in the kennel? Because it's kind of a, a legendary hub for college basketball. Oh yeah, it's definitely been a blessing to play in this environment with all these like supportive people and kind of the energy that we've received, especially this year, has just been phenomenal. Every single game we come to the kennel, like it's just a lot of high energy and a lot of hype. The women's team has a huge legacy here. It has produced so many outstanding players. What would you say to people, like I said, outside of Spokane who maybe aren't quite as aware as they should be of the legacy of women's basketball here at Gonzaga? Well, I get it a lot. You know, people when they're on the plane or they figure out, they ask what I do or, oh, at Gonzaga, did you play there? Uh, or whatever. And uh, their, bas their basketball team is really good. How's the, how's the women's team? And it's, uh, luckily I'm usually really gracious and like we're pretty good too actually. Is there something that changes in how you play and how you practice and even how you gear up for games this time of year? Yeah I think if anything it's a lot of like fine tuning right now um, and just working on the details that we need to work on just because we've been flowing so well as a team right now that it's like we can just clean up a little bit of stuff and then just staying consistent to whatever our topic or our goal at the beginning of the season was and I feel like for us that's been consistency and also being uncomfortable or comfortable in uncomfortable situations um, and just continuing to hold that to a high standard. And let's talk about uh, Coach uh, Lisa Fortier because mm -hmm. I mean of course she's a huge component in this team and really the the culture here mm -hmm. at, like with Gonzaga and Gonzaga basketball especially. So what is what are some of the things that she says to you guys in trying to get you ready for this time of year? Yeah. I think if anything, a lot of the stuff I say comes from Coach Lisa and kind of how she um, wants to motivate us to just continue to get better. Um, I try to just, I know that what we do is collective, right? So just like what we're doing as a team is not just because of Yvonne or just because of Lynn or just because of Lee or anybody else. And what we do with our team is not just because of us. You know, our guys being good is great for us and we collaborate a ton. So try to always be gracious, but I, I do not have a problem making sure that they know that our, our women's team is really good too. And if they're around that they should look us up.